He's Coach K looking for a 600th career win. I got goosebumps. I've got goosebumps. I'm so absolutely excited. I mean, I can't believe it. This is going to be great, baby. Sit back. Let's enjoy. First half, Duke Shane Battier, illest player in the nation, a religion major with a 3.4 GPA who had 20 points and 13 boards. Then Battier with the steal, one of 20 Tar Heel turnovers to Jason Williams. There's a new sax player coming out. His name is Mike Phillips. How smooth is Phillips? About as smooth as Jason Williams. 15 points, 5 assists, and then hustling, throwing the ball off Joe Forte. Williams would say later, we have so much passion, we want it so bad. Shane Battier still earning court burns up by 26. Duke rocked Carolina's world with a 19-1 run. Second half potential trouble for Duke. Jason Williams turned his ankle. He would be in serious pain on the bench. But nothing helps pain like a win. One Duke player said, we saw them getting tired. Instead of letting them back in, we went for the jugular. Duke wins it 79-53. Mike Krzyzewski gets his 600th career win. Dukes becomes the first team to win three straight ACC tournament titles since the 67-69 North Carolina. Finals of the Big Ten tournament tied at 59. Duez Henderson hits the runner. Luke Recker coming back from that broken kneecap. Loves it. Hawkeyes by two. Kirk Haston for three. Iowa rebounds. Indiana was forced to foul. Henderson missed the first free throw and would miss the second. And the Hoosiers with a chance to tie with a two or win it with a three. Haston going for the three. He blocked the shot to help Indiana get into the finals on Saturday. This time his shot is rejected by Reggie Evans. One of two blocks for Reggie Evans and Steve Alford. The former Hoosier celebrates with a big, big win. Iowa's playing its fourth game in as many days and will head into the tournament with 22 victories. Haston 24 points, 12 rebounds in the losing effort as Iowa picks up the victory 63. 61. SEC title game, Mississippi up two, but Kentucky on the break. Saul Smith throws it up. Keith Bogans throws it down. Play a hating. Wildcat shot 30 of 59 from the field. Bogans had 19. Mississippi just out of rhythm. Josh Hayes, air ball. Raheem Lockhart tries to save it. He can't even save the cameraman. 29% Ole Miss shot. Worst shooting day of the season. Tayshawn Prince, Lord have mercy. He done made his kinfolk so proud, man. Pookie and them and Ray Ray, Lucretia, baby, daddy. Prince had 26 points, career high 12 boards. Kentucky wins at 77 55. Wildcats rock the crib for their 23rd SEC title in 42 tournaments. Kentucky's 24 and 7 in SEC championship games and 8 and 1 since the SEC split into two divisions in 92. Remember, this is a team that started the season losing five of their of the Big 12 tourney. That's Nolan Johnson, the steal and the dunk. Sooners cutting into the lead, trailing by five. Later in the half, Oklahoma down one. Brian Boddicker misses the three. Darren Selvey, the other end. Kelvin Sampson is pumped. Sooners would take a one-point lead. Under two minutes to go, tied at 45. Kelly Newton looking for Johnson. Johnson, 18 points, 13 rebounds. Sooners go up three after the free throw. Johnson, <laughs> Selvey, exclamation points and Oklahoma celebrates its first conference championship since 1990 Sooners win it bouncing back from an 18 point deficit to claim the title they turn at our sports center showcase highlight the Midwest region Dayton Ohio uh, Dior Fisher Dior Fisher gonna do some swatting here on Derek Knox Michael Byers Dawson played at Miami. Now he's playing at Northwestern State. He's a demon. Fisher at 13. Northwestern State up 11. Less than seven to go. Winthrop down six. Tyrone Walker for three. Winthrop's tenth straight three to start the half. 17 points for Walker. A minute to go. Northwestern State up two. Josh Hancock hit a couple of baskets during the regular season to win games. This one puts his team up five. Winthrop coming right back. Marcus Stewart scoring over Fisher, plus the foul. He had 14 points. Winthrop within two. Greg Marshall, he's fired up. One last chance for Winthrop. 13 seconds down two. The shot, no. Tawan Harris cannot get it there. Northwestern State's Demons win at 71-67. They become the first school to win in its NCAA tournament debut since Tulane in 1992. Winthrop 11 of 20 from three, but not enough. With the lost Big South Conference teams now 0 and 10 all time in the NCAA tournament. Your Fisher, 10 points, 11 rips, 9 blocks. Those are stud numbers. Six other SEC teams, SEC teams did get in, including 16 and 14 Georgia. 16 and 14, the same record Seton Hall had. The team Alabama met in the first round of the TiVo NIT. Travis Stinnett. 
Can't get in the way of what he's feeling. Stinnett just schooling Andre Barrett. Six threes for Stinnett, 22 points in the first half. Tide fans still bitter. The Hall suffering a loss in the first half alone. Marcus Tony L. Going after a loose ball and crashes into a fan's knee. Tony L would leave the game, would not return. Don't know about the fan's knee. Second half tied up. Rod Grizzard faking Darius Lane. The dish to Gerald Wallace. The Hall would come back down 10, thanks to off the bench, Ty Shine, the hero from a year ago, four of six from three-point range. Final minute, Alabama just up three. Grizzard to Irwin Dudley, 22 points, a career-high 19 boards to send Tommy Amaker and Seton Hall home. That's right. Grizzard chipped in with 22 points and 11 boards. Dudley, nine of Alabama's 20 offensive rebounds. Wallace, not only with a double-double, but he also had five assists, three blocks, and three steals. Another TiVo NIT opener, Memphis and Utah. Memphis up 10, Marcus Moody getting the offensive board. The feed to Kelly Wise. He's, he's been lifting. Memphis up 12. Later in the second half, Utah coach Dick Hunsaker. Frustrated, upset, he gets a T. Utah would come back. Travis Spivey, Nick Jacobson. Utah within four. Utah. Oh, look at this. Shannon Foreman is a thief, and then he finishes nicely. Memphis would find a way to win, beating Utah. 71-62. The Tigers never trailed in their first ever NIT road victory. Earl Barron with 18 points. Memphis moving on to face the winner of the UTEP McNeese State game in the second round. And Memphis coach John Calipari, the guest on Up Close at 5.30 p.m. Eastern Wednesday won't be the coach anymore in Columbia. He still cares, but Fogler is leaving after the TiVo NIT after eight years at the job. His decision coming after the university decided against extending his contract. Fogler looking to finish strong, beginning with its first round matchup against Connecticut. There is Eddie. Under five minutes left. South Carolina down only two. Rolando Howell. Six points for him were tied. Just over three minutes to go. The Huskies by two. Good ball moving by UConn. Remember, these, this team's two years removed from an NCAA championship. Edmund Saunders, 15 points, 11 boards. Huskies by four. But then UConn would be pulling away from this one. Two minutes left. Albert Mooring responding to a good visual. UConn wins. 72-65. There were 26 lead changes in the game, and it was close until the final four minutes. We showed you that in the highlight. Next up for the Huskies, Detroit, which defeated Bradley. As for South Carolina's coaching vacancy, university officials say they're looking for a proven winner. As for Eddie Fogler, he says he'll never say never to coaching again. Villanova and Minnesota, second half. Golden Gophers up for Terrence Simmons. Simmons on a fast break. Look out. Just clear the way. Double pump, lay in, and foul. Free throw was good. Golden Gophers up 79-72. There were five off the inbounds. Terrence Simmons, not scared of heights. Minnesota wins. Kevin Burleson and Simmons combining for 36 points in the victory. The Golden Gophers take on Tulsa next. We State over Southern Miss. Bulldogs 14-4 all-time against the Eagles in Dayton. A winner at home or, or UNC Wilmington. 27 of 30 from the line. Eight straight at the end to ice it. St. Bonaventure, Pittsburgh, sharing 94 feet of floor space. Second half, pit down three. Julius Page for three. St. Bonnie's had led since 8-7. It's now tied at 61. Pitt leading 68-67. The shot clock ticking away. Brandon Knight, Page, give him three more. He had a career high, 22 points. Pitt's next possession, Ricardo Greer to Jaron Brown. Greer, 26 points, five assists. Brown with the finish. 84-75. Chalk it up to Pitt. They were just three of 14. Baylor, New Mexico, first round in the NIT in Albuquerque. Second half, Baylor down three. Wendell Greenleaf was stealing. It's the layup, hits the free throw. We're tied at 70. 211 left. New Mexico up three. They would get 13 of the last 16 points in the ballgame. Whalen White, the drive in the lane, and the Lobos advance with an 83 73.